I feel like calling out the Game Grumps fanbase tonight. Why? Because their blind faith in Aaron is as obnoxious as ever, especially when it comes to Sonic the Hedgehog. Innovative, I know. But if you still feel like wasting your time here with me, I truly appreciate it. So, I once again got into a conversation with someone over at Rant Grumps. We brought up several points in regards to Aaron's actions, but we're going to focus on the points about Sonic for this video. I am going to include a link to the thread where this occurred, but I will also showcase the entire conversation after I said my piece. Let's get started now. This person is basically trying to convince us that Aaron is a man who is trying to change for the better. I list a few things of why I don't think that is the case at all, one of them being this. He is trying to change by continuing spreading lies about loving Sonic unironically. It's not a good sign when you have to try to defend your stance about being a fan of something, which you yourself are known for relentlessly tearing down the reputation of that same thing, even whilst having minimal knowledge about it. Then the person I was talking to makes a response which includes this. I feel like this is more of a problem with you and people who think like you do. He has made it perfectly clear that he is a fan of the Sonic character and that he's enjoyed the comics and the cartoons. But he doesn't like the games. This isn't an issue. God damn it, not this argument about liking the character again. It will be the same as me saying I like Link as a character in the manga comics, but I hate Zelda games mostly for invalid reasons. And that is where the problem comes in. Aaron cannot properly criticize these games. In fact, he has been caught more than once breaking games on purpose while feigning ignorance, all in order to bash people who like these games. The bastard also thinks he fully deserved the cupcakes and the trip to Japan, and he is using those gifts as proof that he is a Sonic fan. Lies. Fucking lies. It is a damn issue, because like what happened to Leadfoot, Aaron's fans will actively harass Sonic fans, which goes to show that he is in fact responsible for their actions to an extent. How Aaron feels about games and how he judges people for liking those games just doesn't matter. He's allowed to have his opinions, and I feel like his judgments of the people is definitely played up for a bit. And there it is. The whole thing about Aaron being allowed to say whatever the fuck he wants as long as he's... Uh, joking. Supposedly. Unlike some other people, I mean, fuck them, right? He has discussed multiple times how he plays up his emotions and exaggerates them on the show, and the uh, Zelda Sonic Rage has always felt like that to me. But at this point, I actually have reasons to believe that Aaron is just a pathetic excuse for a man. Let's see, some more arguments about fiction and why lifespan matters in this case. Um, ah, here we go. Also, just because you don't like his reasons, doesn't make them invalid reasons. He also did deserve the cupcakes and trip to Japan. No publicity is bad publicity, as they say. The Sonic Twitter at Hib had a great back and forth, and while it was mostly him shitting on the games, as fans expect him to do, it brought Sonic back into the spotlight, which is a good thing for the brand. Also, a small subset of his fans harassed Leadfoot, which sucks, but it isn't like uh, it is a majority of his fans. And it isn't like Aaron is telling him to go do it. They are shitty little twats that Aaron has no control over, and he isn't responsible for their actions. For fuck's sake, don't you know about this is mean? And his stupid opinions do matter, especially when people blindly follow them and chastise others for thinking otherwise. There is a thing called standing up for yourself and others, in case you didn't know. You're right. It just so happens that Aaron's reasons are bad because they are invalid. Why? Because oftentimes, people can argue and show why he's wrong about something, if not point out his usual hypocrisy. Then again, it is only Aaron's side of things which deserves any attention at all, huh? Even if Sonic team is happy that Sonic is back in the spotlight, many true fans can argue that this is not how or what they wanted Sonic to be. A once-beloved mascot now turned into some punching bag for a despicable man-child with no real wishes to improve Sonic as the supposed fan he is. It doesn't matter if it was just 1, 10 or 100 people who arrested Leadfoot. At the end of the day, he was greatly inconvenienced because of Aaron and Dan. Doesn't matter if they directly told the fans to target him or not. What the fuck is wrong with him? <laughs> I know. Like, what is actually wrong with this guy? <laughs> Hold on, I'm fucking- What the fuck help does he think he's providing anybody? Aaron still encouraged them to go after someone completely innocent when the fault was actually his own. And like I said, them apologizing was a step in the right direction, so why the fuck did I take it back? Aaron's reasons aren't invalid. Not all. Just most of them are invalid, which still makes it a problem in the end, huh? Especially for Sonic. For Zelda, he has less wiggle room. He talks about all the waiting, but refuses to use the tools available to him. Yeah, that's about right. 
However, the biggest issue with Sonic is you have this character who is meant to go fast, but the level design simply doesn't allow for it. There is this disconnect between who they say the character is and how you play. You've got this fast character, but the boss battles are in this single window wide area to battle. That's not an invalid reason to dislike the games, it's actually incredibly valid. <sighs> Get good, scrub. Work on your reflexes. Practicing stages in order to beat them in record time is not exclusive to Sonic, nor should it Sonic be bashed for not making it possible for the player to flawlessly speed through the stages on the first try. Early 2D Sonics may have had those enclosed battles, but the 3D ones have plenty of speedy combat. Sonic, just like other franchises, evolved and refined their trademark playstyles. So, what exactly should Aaron's complaint be in this regard? So, um, what the hell is the meaning of this here? I also believe that Aaron and the Sonic team's relationship is wonderful, and I'm glad true Sonic fans don't get to dictate how ma the mascot is used. Well, what the hell is that supposed to mean? You think it's a bad thing that the people who actually care about Sonic wants the best out of him? Good gods. It isn't Aaron's responsibility to make Sonic better, but if a wonderful Sonic game came out, I think Aaron will be thrilled. What? What the fuck? Uh, what's the one that everyone likes? Uh... Is it Generations? G Generations is pretty well liked, yes. And Colors? Is that the other one? Yeah, Colors is still a little divisive, but I think for the most part people view it positively. So let's play those, baby! But that's no fun! Uh, it, it'll be- oh, it'll because be Because then they're just fun. boring! Because they're no. <laughs> still not great! Well, if a wonderful Sonic game came out, I think Aaron will be thrilled. But that's no fun. Uh, it, it'll be oh, it'll because be then they're just fun. boring. Because they're no. still not great. Fucking hurts.